Hi Silhouetters, it's Doodling Debbie with another video tutorial. Um, one of the members on the Silhouette Plus forum asked this question. She had created a design, but she used individual lines, and when she was done, she wanted to be able to fill them. So, uh, a lot of people have trouble doing this, and I, so I wanted to make a little video, video tutorial to show you how to do it, and how to do it pretty easy. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to grab this tool here, and we're just going to make, I'm just going to make any O shape. It doesn't matter, but it gives you an idea how you can close something. So say we just keep on going like this, and then we go up here like this. And I'm just going to keep on clicking around until I have, like, part of an image. And, and we're going to stop right here. And I double click to end that. Okay, now I want to make this a, an entire whole image. I only have half of it now. So if we double click on this, we'll go into point editing mode. And notice here, you just don't see these nodes here. You see these little red ends. Okay, let's go back to our regular view. And I'm going to go up here and replicate this. So I'm going to mirror it below. And if you look closely, you'll see how that pretty much brought it pretty close together. So, but these two are far apart. There's two things we could do. We could draw a line in between these to make this end flat. And then we can use our zoom in tool to see how that looks. Which obviously I need to bring this out a little more here. And then resize it smaller. There we go. And now we're going to go back into that editing mode. So I'm going to go back to the regular view. And we're going to click on this one first. And then I zoom in to see if I can get it, see how close it is to that line. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to zoom in on this one. I'm going to undo that real quick because I want both sides to match up. I'd rather work on the line. So we'll double click on the line. I'm going to bring this little red dot up just a bit because I like to get them as close to each other as they possibly can. But you'll see why there won't be a big deal to do this. Okay, so those are pretty darn close. But look, if we select them, that's a separate element. This is separate. And this is separate. These are all paths. They're not closed paths. So if I try to go in here, and as you can see, there's three by all the little squares you see. And I try to fill it with a color, we'll say red right here, it won't fill. But if I go into point, if I select them, I right click, I choose make compound path, let's see what happens. Okay, probably not going to fill. See, it still doesn't fill. Okay, now if I double click in here and you see these little red dots, I click on that red dot. It made it a node. I click on this red dot. It made it a node. And then this red dot. And there we go. Now it's a compound path. And we have a closed shape. So if I want to, let's just play around with this for a minute. So I want to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. And I want to add something else to it to make something from it. You'll see that we'll be able to weld as well. So let's go and we'll do I'm going to shrink this in just a tad bit more and then I'm going to go over here and do an offset an internal offset and I'll just bring that in a little bit oops whoa that's way too much I probably need to okay now I have these two together I want to select them right click make compound path now I'll select the entire little grouping here and I'm going to go down here and click on my weld button and there looks kind of like an ornament maybe we could add some little cutouts in here put some little flowers across here and make it look even more ornamental um, add something here in the center and we're going to fill that with white so we can see it. See, and that's how design starts. 
I'm going to go ahead and delete this out because I wanted to show you the lines. They work exactly the same way. Sometimes we want to draw something and we're just going to have to draw, use lines to draw it with. Say we're going to do a triangle. And there's lots of ways we can make a triangle, but we're better at using lines to make one. So there we go. We have this. And if we had it in our grid, it would be even more exact. So bring that in a little bit and see there's I double clicked. So I'm in point editing mode and there's those red dots. See? And let's see what we have. Okay, so let's just go ahead really quickly and you see I have all of these different shapes in here. So once again we're going to right click, make compound path. Now we're going to double click and we see those little red dots. So we made that a node. We made that, in, so there we closed it. Let's click on that. That's closed because it made it into a node. And we click on this and there we go. It's another node. So let's go ahead and fill that. And there we are. A closed path, a compound path. I hope this has helped you um, play around more to be with your design stuff and to learn to be more creative and how much you can use this Silhouette software to do so much. Um, and I wanted to make a little announcement as well. I've made a lot of the YouTube video tutorials. There's nothing in the world I love more than sharing um, with people uh, cutting files I've made, um, um, information I get, and to help people learn to enjoy their silhouette SDs, their silhouettes, or their cameos a lot more, and to get in there and play and have fun. But I'm probably going to be going back to work on a full-time basis, which is going to leave me very little time. And a lot of that time I will be spending with my family. However, I always check my emails. And if you don't see any new tutorials for a while, or you don't see any new cutting files that I've shared for a while, they'll get on there, just not as often as they used to. I thank you all for for being a subscriber and coming to my blog and my website in the Silhouette Plus form and sharing with me your ideas and inspirations and I just want to send out a great big hug and a great big thank you and I'll still see you on the forums and blogs but remember not as often. Okay, happy crafting and have a great day. Bye.